What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm giving you a website breakdown for my buddy Brian. Uh, I actually just shot with Brian over in Philadelphia. And uh, while we're there, we're just doing some business stuff and I told him to take a look at his website and just kind of give him some pointers and some areas that he can improve. So let's get right to it. Um, okay, first class visuals, professional photo and video and photo production made easy. I was just changing this up to, you know, professional video and photo production made easy for small businesses. You want to speak directly to your audience, right? Um, the only other thing I would say uh, right now, the home video looks like it's very driven towards gyms. Um, so as a business owner, if I was, if he was only targeting gyms, I think this is a great video. But if you're doing it with someone that you're trying to work with a lot of different businesses, I'll probably just switch up to visuals so you have a little bit more variety when you come to the homepage. Um, also here, I'll add two call to action buttons, either like see your work or book now, get in touch. Um, and very similar to what I have on my website is I have see your work and then I have contact us. Um, next push play. So here has a little. Welcome to first class visuals. We're nice little Catching sales video. Uh, I think this is great. I definitely think everyone should have one of these on their website. Um, the only thing I would say, I'd probably make this video a little bit smaller right now to occupy a lot of space on his, uh, homepage and I'll move this text right above here. So right after that, I'll have the text here and then I'll write something like check out our video below. Da -da -da, great. Um, so here he has different examples. I would say add, I would add a different video here because here he has three promo videos and these two are both gym videos. And also I would probably, if I was going to leave these up, I'd have this one in the middle, right? So it doesn't look so like right now you have this dark, dark, then light. You want to break things up visually. Um, I would say to do a different video, I'll probably do like promo video, commercial, and then something else just so you can show them the, the variety of work that you're able to do. Next, our photography and videography services make high quality content accessible for every business. Just ask our past clients. All right, so here I probably changed because like a lot of this stuff here is uh, pushing video first and then here um, it, it goes into photography. So I'll probably just jump and change it up, you know, our videography and photo services or even media services. You don't necessarily have to say photography. I, I think in just putting media in there uh, also has a nice ring to it. Also give you a variety with SEO by using different, uh, you know, keywords on there. Uh, just ask our just ask our past clients um, or maybe hear from our past clients and we have the testimonials here. Uh, that's good. Uh, contact us. Okay. So now we're here at the bottom of his page, right? He has one call to action button, which has a book. Now I'd probably change it. So the button is dark and then it turns light. Cause right now it's just an outline. I think having a clear button like this would be a lot better. I guess not clear, but a white button like this or a different color. It, it, it drives your eye more Then also I either make the text bigger or I would make the button smaller. There's just a lot of empty space here in between. Uh, the next thing I would say is uh, we need either a form down here to collect information along with, you know, email address and phone number. You want to make it very easy for them to get a hold of you. So right now, if I'm scrolling through this whole page, there's only one call to action button, really. I mean, other than what we have up here on the header, the only other button that we find is going to be our book now button. And then from the book now button, it brings them to another page where they have to fill out a form to then get a, a hold of you. So you guys, you guys got to think about this from a business owner's perspective, right? If I'm a busy business owner, I need somebody to come out here and get a video right away. I'm searching the internet. If I get to your website and I can't get a hold of you, I'm going to probably log off and go to the next website. See if we can call somebody. I want to get somebody on the phone. I have a deadline coming up. I don't want to wait for somebody to get back to me. So start thinking about when you're creating your website, who is your user? What, what are the problems that they're going through? How are they going to get a hold of you? So, and the bigger the gap that you create between them and getting a hold of you, the harder it is for them to reach you, which more likely means they're probably going to go to somebody else. Now, me and Brian spoke about this, you know, he didn't feel comfortable uh, putting up his phone number um, and totally understand. There's a lot of different ways you can go about this. There's a sideline app. There's, I think it's called burner. If you have a newer iPhone, you could actually even add a second line to the same phone and actually show you personal and business. Um, so there's a lot of different options, but you got to think about it. If you're, you know, 
not hearing from clients and you're, if you're looking at analytics and you just don't understand why you don't have your phone number up, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it could be a possibility. So, you know, I'm a really big fan of just trying everything out. Okay, so like I said, I'll add the phone number here. You're good to go. I love this too. The fact that he has this on here, like I think this is uh, um, a very big, like, I guess bonus, you know, just with credibility. Um, I'll probably move this somewhere up higher because um, somebody might not scroll all the way down here. Okay, next page. Let's go to, oh, another thing is on your contact us page, when you guys have any place that you have a form, go to like a stock website image and get yourself like a photo of somebody like smiling, like looking at a computer. You want to help your clients visualize that this is going to be them calling you and being happy. You just helped solve all their problems. Next videos. Um, so he has the same highlight reel here. Like I said, I'll make this a little bit smaller. It's occupying a lot of space here. And I'm very curious to see how this looks on, um, on mobile. Another thing I just looked here is this is a new page. It says new page too, but you guys want to optimize these pages, right? So let's look at mine. At least mine says video. Um, you want to optimize your site titles and names. So like even for my homepage and you come here, it says video production and media agency. Um, this is super easy to fix in Squarespace right now. I think Brian just says first class visuals and to Google, this doesn't mean anything, right? So what he might want to put it here is, you know, Northern Jersey video production company. Um, so those are the, like the little things that make a really big difference on, on Google being able to find you. So like if we typed in video production, Pompano beach who do we got so we got a couple ads here um then you got me ranking here in first place thumbtack which i kind of hate them because they are just taking up this is the thing too like when you're creating content like it's becoming so hard now because you're competing against like companies like production hub that have tons of pages thumbtack i don't know what that is you're, you're competing against some bigger companies. I, I am here on, you know, the fifth or sixth spot. Um, so I definitely got to do some work and getting myself back up there. But those are the little things that you constantly need to be doing and improving in your website if you want to start ranking. And a lot of my best clients I've gotten have come from my SEO efforts. I don't spend, I spend very too little. Actually, I spend no money in advertisement other than running ads for, you know, my personal YouTube uh, page. I don't run any ads for business. Everything I do, I invest money into SEO. Um, it, it, it is a little bit slower in that return, but it has a long-term return. And that's what I really try to focus on. Because when you're doing paid advertisement, like pay-per-click and Facebook ads, as soon as you stop paying, you stop receiving the reward. So at least with SEO, it's always a, a long-term um, return. So back to videos. Um, cool. Like I like how it says commercials, commercial, commercial, promo video. Yeah, you know, and I'll normally like I wouldn't mind putting like the name of the the business here, so I know kind of what I'm looking at. So here it says commercial, but like what kind of commercial? Maybe say like the name of what it is, just so people, if someone's looking at it, they have a better idea of what they're clicking through. You always want to think about your customer journey throughout the whole process. And then of course, you know, you need a call to action button here. Um, even in Squarespace, you're able to create like a, a footer on your website. Um, you know, for us, we have, you know, kind of like a little site map. So there's there's space available for you to do something on your website. You know, here we have phone number as well. Um, use it, utilize this empty space here. Uh, maybe even add your Instagram feed down here. Uh, let's go to photography, for some visuals. Boom. Um, now just because I know Brian's looking to work with more business owners, I would probably add the headshot stuff first and then do like the event stuff like that. Cause here it just kind of looks more like a wedding. Um, so like I said, like, what do you want to, what do you want to be known for? What, what kind of jobs do you want to get booked for? So like, if you'd rather do headshots and business stuff, then put that first and then do all the other things second. Um, 
and you know I'll just say more clear uh, call to action um, next you have contact us so we went over this page you know I'll add a phone number on here so people can get a hold of me um, and then about us for about us um, I would make this photo a little bit smaller um, and I'll like have it off to the side I think for my website you know, I just have my little, my photo here on the side in like a little bio. Um, do the same thing. Like I said, you're, you're occupying a lot of space here on, on the beginning where you could kind of have this as a smaller photo and then have everything else on the side. I'll probably remove, there's a lot of just empty space here. Um, and then there's something happening here that you have both of these um, icons popping up. And then, you know, you have a call to action, some sort of form. Every every page you guys have in your website should have some sort of call to action for the client to get a hold of you. You want to make it very easy for them. And I would switch these two around. I would probably do about us, then contact us, or like book now. Um, this is just very similar. You know, contact us about us, but people are normally used to having the the contact us as all the way on the right. Um, so that's what I'll do with that. The only other thing I'll say, like, I think the website's really good. Um, I would only change the color. Um, so you guys got to spend a little bit of time learning about color theory, learn about SEO and these different things. I mean, it's YouTube. You guys know how to like search for shit. So with orange and colors like this, you gotta remember that these are normally colors used for like signs of like warnings and dangers and things like that right if you're like on the mac and you see a little orange thing pop up in the, or you're in premiere pro and you see a little orange thing pop up it's usually some type of error so more reassuring colors are going to be colors like green and blue and i know from my personal website i'm like doing a lot of yellow right now but i'm also talking to a totally different audience right i'm uh, talking to filmmakers uh you know i have the whole black and yellow thing going on but I'm talking to you. When you're talking to a business owner, they want to feel secure. So just with like different color theory things, green is a very safe color. Blue is a very safe color. Um, and there's a reason why the future uses, you know, blue versus some other color on there. So that's just something to keep in mind. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, I also just dropped a uh, free video production contract on my website. This is a one pager. If you're just getting started, you don't have a contract. Go check that out. Um, I think that's going to be useful for a lot of you guys. That's the contract I used a couple years ago. Uh, I do have the other contract that I use for my business. That's 25 bucks. It's like eight or 11 uh, different contracts, everything from NDAs, um, your agreement forms, COVID release forms, everything you might need, everything I use in my business, you're going to find in that one. Um, so thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give me a like. And uh, let me know you guys want me to cover next. I feel a lot better just pumping out videos like this with not heavy in editing. So I can just keep doing these every single day. So let me know what you guys want me to cover next. And I'll see you next time. Peace.